there was one guy that I tattooed, this was a long time ago, probably about nine years ago. I did a bunch of lettering across his chest and I had to draw it a whole bunch of times and you know, somewhere along the lines by the fifth or sixth drawing, uh, two letters ended up missing from the tattoo because <laughs> at that point you're just kind of making lines, you're not really looking at letters anymore. When I first started the tattoo, what it had was his mother's name and her dates that she was born and passed away. And then it had his son's name and the date his son was born. I think it said old endings, new beginnings underneath it, like across. Beginnings, B-G-I-N-N-I-N-G-S. And I think I left out the I-N on I-N-G-S. It said begins, which I got a lot of shit for from different people that I worked with. Usually the go-to, um, for tattoo artists is to say, oh, well, you know, you looked at it, you saw it. It says on the release form, I have, I have looked at my tattoo and, you know, verified that it's correct and all that stuff. So it's on the customer too. I mean, I was expecting that guy to come in the next day and kick my ass. Never came back. And uh, until his friend came in and mentioned it to me and I said, tell him to get in, we're going to fix his tattoo. It was only an outline, so... He came back in, he got the last two letters, the GS, um, lasered off, and we were able to add the INGS. So it said INGS, it's the INGS. There's probably guys out there that are gonna be like, he's not professional, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, you don't fuck up tattoos and blow it off. I'm not blowing it off. I know heavy hitter tattoo artists that have been doing this for 25, 30 years that screw up some lettering tattoos sometimes. It happens. Very rarely, usually, but, you know, it happens. It's not perfect. That's why we have lasers.